Yes, everybody. Yes, yes, we are back. Back once again with the podcast. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this a podcast to be everything podcast, every topic, every genre, everything that's going on the planet today. I'm gonna run a few things by everybody. If this is gonna be my last podcast of the entire world, and if I pass away tomorrow, this will be the podcast that I would I would put out there in the world. This will definitely be on YouTube after I finish this podcast. Uh, I just want to make this an everything podcast. Everything there's in the, in the news, TV shows, you name it. Uh, to the Justin Trudeau's, to the uh, uh, to uh, uh, to uh, John Tory as being mayor, and to Donald Trump, the United States. So we're gonna run the gamut of every topic in the world. I want to do an everything topic podcast. Everything in the world that's going on to this day. Um, everything. I mean, the news stories to the, uh, uh, to, uh, everything, everything. Uh, I'm going to run it by a couple topics. This is just, uh, I'm going to free flow in this topic and go in here. And this is just my topic, uh, that I want to run by my podcast and my podcast show. Uh, that's what's going to be. But I go by the name of AKA Dave Nation. That's right. Sorry I did, if I didn't introduce myself. AKA hey, Dave Nation, and you know what the deal on that one. Um, so, uh, further ado, we're going to talk about everything topic. Now, my first topic, we're going to talk about all the leaders of the world. It's all coming for fruition, as I would, say, a lot of people would say, where it's all coming for fruition. The right people get in the right timing, and just fabulous for a sec. Think, think for once. That everybody, every leader who's ever got into politics and want to become that totem pole, that totem pole, uh, how do you say, it? Uh, totem pole, uh, being the leader that they are, uh, to the Justin Trudeau's, to uh, John Tory, to uh, Justin Trudeau, it's all coming in fruition for everybody, and we we elect the right people in. We don't uh, shy, sh we don't start shy short. Of what we see in our leaders of the world. That's the one topic I want to talk about. It's all coming into play. And we have the Pope, uh, the, uh, 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 pop, uh, the Pope to thank for. He was in the Rome area, and he's talking about a lot of things in Rome. He's the he's the uh, Catholic guy who speaks to the Catholic people around the world. Uh, and that's what I want to talk about. The uh, Catholic Pope, he talks about, about the Jewish people, to the uh, Catholic people, to what God... Uh, he's, kind of, he's kind of like the messenger of God. He hears what God has to say to him. Um, and I, I just want to say, so every leader on this planet, uh, past and present, of this today, is all coming for fruition. All coming like a cake of... Uh, it's like a cake of ingredients. Uh, we have the Justin Trudeau's of the world, who is Canadian Prime Minister of Canada. That's why I'm going to drop some names here. Uh, 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 John Tory, who is the mayor of a city. And guess what? The city is called Toronto. Yes, that's right. And one other thing, Donald Trump, who has become uh, uh, United States President, pre how do you say President of the United States? Still the President of the United States as of this moment. Um... They just had a, uh, they had like a 34 days of shutdown. People are asking, open up the government and really let's, let's bargain. Let, let's do a, uh, not like a bargain tool, but let's, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's talk it out. Let's argue it out. Let's see where we can, uh, where this leads us. Uh, and if we ever get this going, we'll do it. Uh, you know, and I think Nancy Pelosi today, I heard her uh, just a bit today. Uh, she was kind of a, a silver tone of her voice. Uh, and she was good. I think that was really good. I think all the leaders are coming into play. Every leader around this world is coming into play. They fit like Lou kind of thing. Every leader on this planet is coming for wishing for every leader that should be in the family tree. This is the family tree I'm talking about, folks. The family tree of, uh, of Dustin, uh, Justin Trudeau who is Prime Minister, I think he's really good. I, don't, I have no beefs about him. Uh, 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 now, John Tory, who is the mayor of the city, he's good. And it came for wishing for him, and I'm really proud of him, no question about it, uh, what he does and what he, uh, what he set out to do. Um, and uh, just, and um, 
uh, Donald Trump, who's the President of the United States at the moment, who just had a, uh, a government shutdown of his choosing. That means he chose to shut down the government, which a lot of uh, po politicians of the world today don't like that. They don't want to shut down the government. That was their last option. They didn't want to do it, but they had to kind of thing. Um, you know, it was not, it was not, it was kind of like by their choice kind of thing. Uh, and so, you know, but it was a long one for a long history. And I think Donald Trump, he didn't want to shut down the government. I think, uh, I think his uh, people told him the shutdown was not going to work for uh, the Democrats and the uh, uh and you know, when you're in your, when you're in Parliament, you kind of uh, you kind of talk about it. You talk about mounts your de your Democrat people or your how do you say it in the politician world. Uh, you talk amongst yourselves. You have a lot of uh, how do you say it? A lot of um, you know a lot of leaders who help you out, uh, lead you the, in the right direction of the world. And uh, that's what essentially what they do. They talk it amongst themselves and see where they need to go on this. And essentially that how is that I think his uh, people, Donald Trump people, told him that a shutdown was never never a good idea. So he gave they they give him positive stuff stuff to say to him, and and that's great. That's great. That's really great. Um, but moving forward, as a lot of people would say, moving forward, what do we do now? Is the question. You know, it's like it's like we had to shut down. Yes, we had to shut down. Now we got to move on from that. But yes, uh, shutdowns are not always good in Parliament. Uh, I've seen it here in Canada so many times. They've shut down the government. It was never that great. Uh, and um, I would like to say every leader on this planet, I'm very happy. Uh, I know they have their defaults. Sometimes they're not always swinging to the right swing kind of thing. Um... Uh, but, you know, they're doing the best they could at, at the, uh, you know, they're doing the best they could. Even Donald Trump is trying to, uh, is trying to steer the ship. It's like, it's like if you're on a ship, he's trying to steer the ship, you know. And his uh, people are kind of like the, uh, how do you say, on a ship analogy. Uh, who, uh, you know, they're people on a ship kind of thing. Just, it's like analogy like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, so Donald Trump is trying to steer the ship of the United States, talk to his people, or talk to the Americans, say, hey, Americans, uh, this is a terrible idea. We're shutting down the government. This is a bad idea. This is on Donald Trump, by the way. This is not on Chuck Sumer. Uh, he tried. He failed miserably. I'm not joking. Not to, not to put blame on him, but he failed miserably with the Democrats. Uh, but so Donald Trump, this time around, he kind of took the reins. He took the reins and said, "I'll I'll deal with the shutdown. This will be my problem. I'll deal with the shutdown." And that led to 30, 30, 34 days of being the government of the United States shutting down. That's not in Canada. That's the United States. People didn't like that. They all were upset, including this uh, press secretary, uh, Sandy Sanders, if I can mention here. Um, she was a little bit upset of herself. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, it was a shutdown, remember? Uh, so, and everybody was so upset. No, uh, they, they have, like I always say, they have every right to be upset. I, I would have been upset if I was in their position. But be that it's May, we had a shutdown. No one did not like a shutdown. If you told someone, a friend of yours, say, hey, we're going to do a shutdown, what would your friend would say? Seriously, like seriously. What would your friend would say if I were to do a shutdown? Just talk to him about that. And they would say, no, we should do a shutdown. We should, uh, we should talk about it. Talk amongst ourselves. We'll agree with something else, but we don't like to do a shutdown. We can come up with a better idea. They essentially say that we'll come up with a better idea and <laughs> make it a lot better than we, than we could do with a shut, without a shutdown kind of thing. You know, you can uh, you can say whatever you want. You can uh, disagree or agree, as they say. And uh, you know, you don't have to like what I ever have to say. You know, uh, you know, it's not like it's not where we're spoon feeding you. You know, like kind of thing. But like I said, this is just an all-topic uh, podcast. Every topic out there in the world. 
Uh, it was snowing recently. Yes, snowing. Yes, that's right. We had almost close to minus 40 degree weather. Minus 40. That's 4-0. Um, that's minus, not plus. Minus. Um, but it was really cold. The snow was ye deep, as they say. Uh, and uh, it's just, a, it's just a, if you live in Canada and the United States, that's the climate we live on. Uh, we get winter, summer, summer weather I like. I like the warm weather, warm climate. I'm good with that. I'm totally good with that. Because uh, I'm warm-blooded, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, and, um, yeah, I'll take, I'll take a warm day like, uh, like any other day. I'm good with that kind of thing. Uh, but when it comes to winter, I suck at it kind of thing. But anyway, nothing about the weather. Oh, one more other thing, one more other thing. Roger Stone, a lot of people are talking about him the other day on Friday. He was, uh, apparently they got him like 5 o'clock in the morning, knocked on his door. Now guess who knocked on his door? A rude awakening kind of thing. Um, and uh, yeah, he was a, a guy who just, <laughs> they come and get him. He, he looked pretty good and he's got his followers at the same time. Right after, uh, this was in a, a federal court. I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding, a federal court to answer, uh, to you know. <laughs> and he pl pleaded not guilty, not guilty plea. Uh, and uh, yeah, <laughs> and he's good after that. And he's got his followers. I couldn't believe how many followers did he have. Everybody was saying Roger Stowe, Roger Stowe kind of a thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, he had his followers, no question about it. I'm trying not to laugh about it. Yes, and uh, yeah, so he had followers. I don't know what type of followers he had, but he had uh, some followers there. You know, it's always good to have followers in your life, you know. Uh, sometimes uh, not always the world going your way. Um uh, it's great to have your followers, and Roger Stone, who a lot of many people should know, who was on the uh, uh, on the Infowars, he has his own show called um, RogerStone.com, I think. Um, and yeah, Alex Jones, who you know on Infowars and uh, uh, Owen Sawyer on uh, War Room, um, they talk about everything, uh, everything American stuff. That's the American sort of thing. They don't talk about the Canadian part of things. Uh, so much they always uh, their focus is on American American news American stuff. Um, so be that as may, and Roger Stone he's uh, he's very likable. He's very likable. I really do like him. I really do like. Him. I don't want to see him <laughs> get arrested like that. It was kind of crazy if you ask me. Uh, but yeah, uh, so yeah, he uh, the judge says uh, no guilty plea. So that's it. He answered those charges and no guilty plea. So that guy came out of federal courts and he had a followers and they were cheering for him. He had a cheering crowd there and uh, and yeah, that's the topic. I just want to drop a name like Roger Stone. He was a a a, a figure. Um, how do you say it? Uh, uh, and he he looked pretty good after a guy who just got you know. <laughs> And so they got er bright early in the morning. I'm not joking. Like, imagine getting yourself uh, knocked on the door with these, you know, people. Uh, a rude awakening kind of thing. Uh, th that scares anybody. I mean, anybody on the planet. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think uh, CNN cameraman tipped them off. And, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> that's, to me, that, that came off really silly. I, I really, that, that's really, really silly. Anyway, Roger Stone, way he is, I think he just... Uh, he he went on a de defense on that. Um, so a guy who just I'm sorry I'm sorry folks. Uh, a guy who just uh, got a rude awakening that early in the morning. I'm surprised that uh, he was awake for that one. Uh, and uh, what else? What other talks should we talk about? I'm just wondering here, folks. What, what should we talk about? Oh, today yes, today I just heard today on the news today the Bell Let's Talk. Yes, Bell Let's Talk. Uh, put that in social media, whatever social media you're on, I should say, yes. Anybody who's on any social media platform should say, Bell, let's talk. I'm not going to mention the platforms on social media. You know, uh, if you guys have your social media sites, you know, you can go to them and you can put, let's talk. Bell, let's talk. Uh, uh, hashtags or whatever. Um, mental illness, that's mental illness. That's not locally or nationwide. Um, um, People have mental illness, 
and could just uh, you know we should do more than that. We should do more than that. And I like I like to hear what other people would like to say. Uh, we should do more than that than saying we uh, people have mental issues. But that's just one day out of a whole year. Uh, we talk about Bell. Let's talk. And uh, I don't know if I subscribe to that, uh, but um, I'll just tell you this much: Let's all tweet out or whatever, whatever, whatever social media sites that people are on these days. Go do it. Don't do it on every uh, on any platform you're on. Um, just tell everybody, hey, this is a serious issue, a mental issue, and let, let it hear loud and strong. I would say sometimes. Uh, and uh, it's a really good idea, really good idea, but we could do more, as people would say on TV shows and radio stations. We could do more, yes, but I don't know how we could do more. But, but, but yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, these are just all topic things tonight, today. And one other topic I want to talk about that I really appreciate sometimes in the world today that we don't get recognition for sometimes. I come to appreciate these people who are trailblazers, who tra trailblaze the world of today. Uh, I look at them as mentors and uh, who are going to lead you in a nice direction in your lives. Uh, whether it be a rock star or, or uh, a singer-songwriter to uh, everything in, life, in your life, in your, what everybody's life is today. Um, they're just making their making their way in this world of ours, uh, whatever career they get into. Uh, well, this is just a podcast of every topic that I want to talk about. It's like an everything topic thing. Um, what topic should we talk about besides all that? Oh, well, by the way, guys out there in the world, just guys or girls or gals, whatever uh, the case may be, and and parents too. I forget, don't forget them. Uh, parents too, what they brought you up in this world. Um, and also, one other thing, topic I want to say is the YouTubers of today. YouTubers are really good with knowledge about everything and everything in the world. Uh, just recently, just recently about the topic about UFOs. Now, I'm just not talking about that so much. UFOs, uh, the, uh, you go look up on Google. UFOs are identified flying objects, which a lot of people should know. Uh, the whistleblower on that topic would be uh, Bob Lazar. He's the guy who was the whistleblower of the early days of UFO stuff. Now, he he worked, guess guess where he worked? If the topic was UFOs, guess guess where? Well, if you had guessed Area 51, you'd be 100% right. He worked at Area 51, no word of a lie. This is a secret naval base or whatever, the, where, whatever it was at the time. Um, this is a place where not everything is out in the open. I'm not joking. Not everything in the world is out in the open where people can go publicly to a place like a store, to uh, uh, to a place like a uh, uh, to anything. Bob Lazar to uh, to the guy last night. He found some uh, documents, some new fresh documents of UFO. Now these are people who want to talk about disclosures, about uh, open up the floodgates of UFO uh, stuff that we see on our. In our world today, that fly around on our uh, on our skies, not just airplanes, not just uh, airplanes or uh, craft-like vehicles. These are UFOs that are, have this reverse. We call these uh, reverse uh, repulsion systems that they have. They're going around aliens or uh, green men, whatever you call these people. Um, a reptilian, I guess the world sometimes people would say reptilian. They're kind of like reptilian nature. Uh, they're not lizard like, uh, but they're not, they're just like aliens, like aliens, creepy aliens, I would say. Uh, they will creep a lot of people out because they're from a different world, different planet. Uh, another, no, another galaxy to the next, uh, uh, to the next universe. Uh, but yeah, they just uh, fly around with their you know special UFO vehicles and try to land on this on this planet. And uh, but us people who uh, who are the United States to the Canadian uh, border don't want to have these sort of UFO things uh, on our planet. So they, they try to have fighter jets fly up there and uh, and capture well not really capture first trying to capture after these UFO vehicles. Uh, not just airplanes flying around, you know, folks. It's UFOs. 
I never saw a UFO, never saw an alien, uh, if you were to ask me. Never saw any of these people that describe these kind of things. Uh, Craft-like vehicles, UFOs, or aliens, or reptilian people. Uh, never met one, never saw one, but I've heard about them on TV and used YouTube videos. But other than that, I never once met an alien or a UFO. No word of a lie. Uh, my luscious career. Uh, but I've heard these people on YouTube. Uh, Bob Lazar, who a lot of people know, he worked at Area 51, the secret place uh, that uh, a lot of people don't want to talk about very often. Uh, that It's Nevada area. It's Nevada area. It's a very, uh, uh, how do you say it? Uh, uh, they, call, they call these camel dudes, in quotations, camel dudes. We'll get after you. Big signages, big signage shoes. You get to the... Uh, uh, the uh, white line, you can't go past, you can't take pictures, you can't do all of these things. If you go past the line, uh, they will, they will, you know, do, use deadly force kind of thing. Uh, <clears throat> so, you know, they put a line that says you can't go past a certain line, or we'll use deadly force. I'm not just saying that when you go to Area 51, I've seen these videos, when you go to Area 51, you can't pass a certain line, or they use deadly force. That's what they're claiming. So, anyway, anyway, I don't want to tell you what nasty things like that. But you've seen videos on YouTube about Area 51, Groom Lake, or whatever it's called, Dreamland, or whatever. Uh, and there's been videos, movies about it. Bob Lazar had a movie just recently. Um, I talked about this certain topic about UFOs. And he was the guy in the early days of the early 80s who uh, apparently... And in some of his interviews, not word of a lie, I'm not saying this, in his, word, in his interviews that he worked on Area 51, according to his stories. Uh, this were interviews that he conducted way back in the early 80s. Um, in length, this is great detailing. Um, uh, but yeah, he had an interview of himself, Bob Lazar, in person, yes. I never met the guy, but I've heard about him on TV shows and stuff. Uh, but I know what he looks like. I know what he looks like if I did see him. Um... But, yeah, uh, but besides everything else in the world, I just want to talk about that. Uh, uh, Coast to Coast AM has his has their uh, guests come on their show, talk about all these sort of things, about UFOs, and uh, they call the freedom, uh, what do they call the freedom of, uh, of, if you're ever in a research, researching UFO stuff and aliens, you, you get the, you know, you get all these documents and stuff like that about, these craft-like vehicles are flying amongst our skies and stuff. Uh, but i never seen them. i never seen them. Uh, it's the uh, people in the Pentagon and in the, in the White House. They don't talk about this, but you don't hear them on TV saying this. But it's like top secret. They call it top secret. Uh, and, um, yeah, so anyway, I want to talk about a little bit more about other things in the world. And wrestling. Wrestling today is really good. It's been great. I've been saw the Royal Rumble just recently. Royal Rumble this week was really stellar. It was really stellar of a pay per view, of all pay per views. Sometimes uh, lackluster. They're not always good, but I think Royal Rumble was the good Royal Rumble of all time. Um, I think it was 31 years of the Royal Rumble, and um, it was great. Uh, it was 30 women this time around. 30 women in the uh, uh, elimination match. Elimination, you got to uh, eliminate your par uh, your friend or whoever in the ring. Stay in the ring. But if, once you go over the other, over the ropes, put the feet on the ground, that means you're eliminated. That's the rules of that, uh, that wrestling match. And I don't want to give that away. I'm just saying that's what the WWE tends to do. That's what the rules set, state on that one. So you can do anything in the ring, anything you want to do to uh, your opponent, in the ring, but you just can't go over the rope. Because if you go over the rope, you're eliminated to the match. You're gone, gonzo. Uh, essentially. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so I think in the world today, I think it's been good, pretty good. I've seen a lot in my luscious career, and I'm many more to come. Uh, I haven't died off or anything. I'm still alive, alive and well. Thank God for that up above. Uh, I'll see. I'll see God one of these days in my lifetime. When I pass away, I'll definitely see heavens. I'll see the heavens when I pass away. When so, uh, this is going to be my last podcast, everybody. 
this will be a, a, some will, someone else on the social media genre will hear this and say this is a good podcast. This is like an everything podcast, everything, every topic out there in the world. Um, and if I pass away, now remember, if I pass away, someone's going to hear this podcast, and I would like them to do that. Um, and uh, I would like to say that um, if I do pass away, I want people to appreciate me like they appreciate my friend. Um, so, um, anyway, I just want to say I've been doing podcasts for a while, and um, I might I might put this on YouTube. I might not. Um, I can always delete this and... Uh, and I do another one, so it's it's just I'll make it whatever I want with it. Um, and uh, I'm just I'm just shooting the breeze on top on many topics of the world, uh, what's going on in this world. I'm just you know I don't have to put this up to YouTube. Uh, it's just a it's just audio only, no visuals, just audio only. And um, and uh, yeah, if you guys want to come on my podcast, you can if you want to. Um, the only way you guys can come on my podcast is if you, if you do an invite to my podcast. That's the only way you can do it. Um, and I want to make sure that everybody, I've seen everything in my luscious career, my luscious, clear, <laughs> tongue tied. Sorry about that. Fuck. <laughs> yes, you got a tongue tied there. Um, in my luscious career, and it's been uh, 40 plus years I lived on this planet, seen everything in my 40 plus years and uh, ever since up till now. And um, I've seen it from the 70s on to the 2000s. Um, and I've seen it all in my life, in my luscious career. I've done it all, uh, mostly all of my things. It's like a bucket list to everybody. Uh, but... You know, you don't have to take on the world. You don't have to take on the world. I say this to anybody. Don't take on the world. If it's a burden to you, don't take on the world. Don't do it. You know, if it's a burden to you, don't do it. Just be yourself. Just I say to anybody, just be yourself. Just do what you do best. I say to anybody, just do what you do best and uh, it will fall on the place. You know, I'm not saying to be funny about that. Just do what you do best in the world and you might be well warded about that. And uh, just do what you do best, and God or somebody in the world will appreciate you. Um, that's all my recommendation for a lot of people out there. Just do your best. Uh, be normal as everybody would be. I try to be normal as much as I can. Um, I'm learning along the way. I'm learning like the way. I do have my, uh, it's like a computer. I have my defaults in my life. Um, I should not, but I do. Uh, I fall short to God sometimes. Uh, I think everything's going to work out great. Not always. Um, and uh, I like to uh, be knowledgeable about that. And uh, yeah, so I've seen it all in my world, in my luscious world. And uh, I hope other people appreciate my world that I have come to appreciate for a lot of people. And this is just a normal podcast. And I would just want to make it everything podcast. And. Uh, what I think that's pretty much it. You don't need to know. And um, what else should I say? Anyway, I, I just want to say uh, thank you for listening to my podcast. I really appreciate it. If you guys were out there listening to my podcast, this is just a normal podcast. It's like any other podcast in the world. Uh, but this will be just be an everything podcast and every topic out there in the world. And this will run by every topic, the, uh, to the news stories, to the TV stations, to uh, the leaders of the world, to uh, you name it. To the uh, food that we eat, to the, uh, to the lunches we have, to the people we meet. To the people we meet. Yes, I can't forget that. To the people we meet, our lives, uh, our mentors. We have mentors. People never mention that. Our mentors help you out. In a time of need, they humor you out. They humor, they humor you, in a not a, a sick sense, but in a good sense. Um, to make uh, just to, you know, sometimes your life is not always good. It's not always what it capable of doing. You know, sometimes you're going to have your setbacks in your life. That goes for anybody in the world. Um, but you know, you're going to have your mentor, and I like I did for thirty one years. <laughs> my friend was my mentor for 31 years. Can you believe that? Uh, but he was. And uh, I really appreciate him. He was my, he was kind of like the celebrity of uh, my mentor. 
and uh, <laughs> and I was just lucky to have him in my life, and just and I know every everybody else has their story about him, and I had mine, and uh, yeah. So anyway, and now he's gone, and to the great beyond, and he, you know, he's uh, he loved by all, if I can say that nicely. He loved by all, and he would be truly loved by all, and uh, yeah. So anyway, bye everybody.